Father, yes, you know all, you are strong, and you love me. I think the Blessed Virgin, our Blessed Mother, could have sang this song with us, and probably she did from heaven, because today is the feast day of the most holy name of Mary. And I'd just like to share with you a little bit of history about this feast day. It uh, it was established by the Pope Innocent XI in 1683, and it was uh, to recall a victory that the Christian had over the Turks, and it was under the protection of the Blessed Mother. <clears throat> there were uh, 150,000 Turks that were coming to invade Europe. They were close to Vienna. And the uh, king of Poland in that time, Sobieski, decided to have, before going to, to the battle, he decided to, to have a mass celebrated, and he wanted to serve at that mass himself. And he assisted to all the mass with his arms like this, his arms like Jesus on the cross. <clears throat> and at the end, after... Uh, communion, at the end of the Mass, he got up and he said, let us walk with confidence under the protection of our Blessed Mother Mary. And what happened exactly, I don't know, but I know that the Turks were sort of destabilized and they were, they, they were, they had panic in their group and they just left. They just left. They were sort of scared, and they went out. And this feast day of Mary is always celebrated in the nine days after the uh, the uh, not nine days. It's uh, four days after the Nativity of Mary. You know that the name of Mary means Queen, and each one of us have our, I would say, our preferred name, our preference. Every, every city, nearly every city or every country has, is under the protection of the Blessed Virgin. But many, many often, very often, we see the people of Lourdes saying, our, our, uh, our Mother of Lourdes, uh, our, our Lady of Fatima, here in Capsha and Gaspésie, we say Our Lady of Capsha. Everyone wants to say, Mary, she's my mother. That's probably the, the most nice name, the nicest name we can give to the Blessed Virgin. And I'll tell you a way to say your rosary when you're very, very tired and you can't concentrate. Not every day, but once in a while. You just take your rosary like this. I don't know if, if the Blessed Mother is says that's okay, but anyway, I do it once in a while. And uh, I get closer to Mary with that. And I just go, Mary, you're so beautiful. Mommy, you're so wonderful. You're so full of compassion, Mary. Mary, you're always there to help me. And I just go on and go on like that. 15, 50 times just to say to Mary all my love. And the rosary is that, to say our, our need of our Blessed Mother. <clears throat> and the, the, the gospel of today is the house that is built on the rock or on sand. And this gospel always comes back to me saying, and your life, Suzanne, what do you, have you been building your life on the rock of the providence, let's say? Or are you building your life on what you know, what you're able to do, or what you, you love to do? Where are you building your life? On what, on whom are you building your life? On Christ or on yourself? The life of the Blessed Mother was built, her life, 
her house. Everything in her was on the rock of the providence. She knew the history. She knew all her, her, her the history of her, her people, the story of Israel, and she saw. And she saw so many times what God did for her people. She had confidence in the Lord. She was trusting the Lord. So when the Lord came to visit her by the, uh, by the angel Gabriel, she, she knew God. And she was able to dialogue with him. She was able to give him an answer. And it's an answer that changed the course of the history and the course of her life. But she answered not looking at herself, but she answered to the question of the angel looking at God. That's what she did. So when we sing, God, you are my father. Yes, you know all. You are strong and you love me. God, you are our father. You know all. You are strong and you love us. Because God could know all. But if he doesn't love me, he could be very strong. Somebody can be very strong and know a lot. But if he doesn't love me, he can love me, but if he can't do anything. And if he loves me and he can do a lot, but he doesn't even know me, what's going to happen? Well, that's just, you know, just thinking like that. But the reality about God, he knows us, he can do everything for us, and he loves us. So let us ask our Blessed Mother today that our lives may be built the same as hers on God our Father. God our Father who knows everything, who can do everything, who is strong and who loves us. And to celebrate our Blessed Mother together, we're going to say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful day, and we'll be together again tomorrow, Sunday.